Baker, early on in practice today, it looked like you were making some of your most aggressive and accurate throws in camp. Is that a product of just two weeks into this move? Yeah, I think for me, that's that's been the a big emphasis is continue to get better, uh, become more comfortable within this system, and start to learn these receivers really, uh, you know, where to put the ball for them, um, their tendencies, and just seeing their releases over and over. And, and some of that just takes time. And uh, yeah, just got to continue to get better. And so for me, it's, you know, can't can't take any steps backwards. Uh, we just, situationally, we have to be better um, in the two minute stuff. We're, we're working that. Obviously our defense has given us a hard time, but we got to be better on offense. As you learn these receivers, what have you found you can expect out of DJ and Robbie? Yeah, I mean, obviously they're, they're both really good at, at their craft. Um, DJ's a guy that's uh, just give him a chance. You know, he, he's he's a contested catch guy, real physical at the top of his routes, can separate uh, and strong hands. And Robbie, um, great routes and just being able to separate with his speed and trusting that he's going to run by people. You know, the the cliche thing of if he's leaving, he's if he's even, he's leaving. Um, that that's very true for Robbie. So just getting to know all these guys and continuing to grow in it. Um, I feel like I was decisive where I wanted to go with the ball. Uh, just now, just putting the finishing touch on it. Um, you know, there was a few things just communication-wise with different blitz looks and, and uh, checking plays that, you know, I knew what I wanted to do, but just making sure we over-communicate those and just making sure that everybody's on the same page. Um, so everybody's on the same page, good things happen. Baker, do you feel like right now that you're ahead in the quarterback competition? I'm not looking at it like that. I'm just trying to improve uh, each day with myself and, and, you know, make sure that I fix any mistakes that I might have made from day day or days prior uh, and continuing to get better for me. Baker, can you talk us through, uh, you touched on Saturday, that Higgins, from our point of view, it looked like a post. Someone on the Hill said it was more of a broken play and Higgins broke deep. And yeah, a, a good, uh, good double move post by Higgy. Um, yeah, he, he put the finishing touch on it, obviously, Coach Rule. Uh, made sure that we're not sticking the ball out. Um, a lot of people thought it was about his celebration, but uh, no, he just got to do all the little things right. And, and that's what it's all about, you know, because even if that was a great play, somebody pokes at it, um, we're going to be hard on each other and hold each other accountable because that's how we lose ball games and we have to fix it in practice and that's the time to learn from it. What was it like seeing the red carpet get rolled out again here? It's, uh, it's pretty nice down here in Charlotte or in Spartanburg. Excuse me, Shaq, I'm trying to trying to be a professional over here. Yeah, hey, we're trying to conduct a, a nice business over here. Uh, no, but it's it's great seeing Higgy out here, uh, you know, as he grows in the system as well. Is it easier to be yourself out here three weeks into it than it was one week into this? Do you get more comfortable with the fellas? Absolutely. You know, I, I think, um, you know, you can't just come out here and talk unless you're doing your job uh, the best of your abilities. And so for me, that's that's learning the offense. And uh, for me, it's becoming more comfortable and not having to think so much. So I can kind of let that personality, that competitiveness, competitiveness uh, fly. And just trying to elevate everybody around us. That's that's the main job of a quarterback is to get the guys around him to play better and get everybody on the same page. Baker, is, almost, is most of the install in your view right now? And, and how are you with digestion? Yeah. Uh, majority of it is. We still have a few more days of that, um, but it's been great so far. You know, at this point where it's like little tweaks and stuff based off our, our foundation of the offense and just adjustments. So this is the time where guys just, we really have to nail down on not having any mental errors. You know, we, we've been through this, some of these plays now like four or five times. So let's make sure that we got the right splits. We have the right routes that the depth and uh, just doing all the little things right. And that's, that's what we need to harp on right now because in games, you know, stuff's going to happen. But in practice, let, let's get the right look and let's do it the right way. Baker, um, Matt told us Saturday that probably this competition <clears throat> will continue through Patriots week. Is there a point where you'd like to see whoever is going to be the guy get more reps and have that ability to get the timing and rhythm down? Uh, I mean, I think, you know, it's human nature to probably just want more reps. Uh, Sam would probably say the same thing, but. For me, it's just about improving. Uh, it's to get myself to be playing the best quarterback I can uh, and to be playing at a very high level and just go from there. Take it one day at a time, put my head down and work, and that's that's what I know how to do, so I'm going to continue doing that. Um, I don't know. I just, I've 
really, really enjoyed being around Sam and in the QB room because we've we've both had uh, a little bit of uh, ups and downs to the start of our careers, and so we've both been through some stuff. So being able to just communicate with the different systems we've been through, and I think that's important for uh, you know PJ's obviously been through a lot as well, but that's important for Matt to see how we're communicating, how QB room should be, uh, that it's not about you know trying to stab one each, one another in the back it's about elevating and because the the franchise and the team goes as the QB room goes that's I was taught that at a young age and uh, if we're all on the same page and we can elevate everybody that's that's great so Sam's been great um, you know nothing nothing to me has been surprising at all with his personality and who he is he's he's got some sly comments here and there he's uh he's very sarcastic so his, his sense of humor is right in line with mine as well Jack, uh, speaking of him throwing those balls at you there and trying to distract you. It looks like y'all have kind of a fun thing going on. Uh, he says he likes a quarterback who talks a lot of mess. I mean, what, what percentage of Baker Mayfield are we seeing yet in terms of that uh, Um it, it's, it's starting to slowly come out, you know, on the practice field, just trying to make sure I handle my business in the locker room and stuff like that. Just it's about having fun with these guys. That's why we're down here at Wofford to be able to come to training camp and push each other and uh, just enjoy it, get to know each other as well. So behind the scenes, we're having a lot of fun, uh, just razzing each other. And the, you know, the friendly competition is where you bring out the best in each other. Baker, and some of those guys in the cornerback room have been nicked up here and there, but when they are healthy, how good can a secondary be? They're really good. I mean, that's that's it's great for us to be able to practice against those guys every day. Um, so yeah, there, there's been, some bumps and bruises there, uh, but when they're in and rolling, they're good. And it's it's good to see even when you know like guys like JC are not in, the everybody else that steps up. And it's just that next man up mentality that um, you love to see. And uh, so there's no drop off. Yeah, everybody, there's a standard that we're trying to set here, and everybody's trying to live up to it. Baker, Baker, you've had a chance to be around Christian now for a couple weeks, and I know you're around some good running backs up there as well. But mm -hmm. can you explain you know what it's like to play with this guy and yeah. being yeah, I mean, I'm I'm not comparing uh, anyone to, to Christian by any means, but he's he's so explosive, um, and just his knowledge of the game, his recognition of of defenses, and, and when you get him out on a route, understanding leverage and coverage and how to get open, that's a uh, that's an ability that you either have or you don't. And he's he's got a pretty special talent to be able to uh, be really friendly in the passing game for us. And obviously, he communicates. Everybody leads differently, so he's more on the quiet side. But when he speaks, everybody listens. Uh, no, I, I think, you know, he's all ball, but he loves to have a good time and, and be around the guys. It's just uh, he's a great teammate, and, and you love to have a guy like that on your team. All right, thanks, Jake. Yep. Thanks, Jake.